The size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire, the size of your dreams, and how you handle disappointments along the way. Welcome back. I feel like it was yesterday that I joined MNS, and today I'm here bringing you the 34th episode. Really, time flies. And I hope you guys keep showing us love so that we can keep bringing you more and more interesting contents for a long time to come. Thank you so much for your support. And yes, we always look forward to improve. So feel free to post your feedbacks in the comment section below. Now, yeah, let's get the show started. Lights cameras, the glitz and glamour, I mean, who doesn't want to be surrounded by them? And I'm sure at least most of us secretly desire it. And that very desire is pushing today's youth more and more into the glamour industry, blurring the lines between two of the most popular options, pageantry and modelling. Slowing, growing and ever-expanding, interested individuals are getting the opportunities to showcase their skills and talents. And yes, the newest trend around town is the modeling contest. This time, we caught up with Srijana Rengi, the winner of Joy Papaya Glam Hunt 2014, and found out what drove her into modeling and what she thinks about the mixing of pageantry and modeling. Take a listen. Hi, I'm Srijana Rengi, and I'm on the cover of MNS this week. Glam Hunt, actually it was a Facebook post by Mr. Prashant Amrakar. He said, do you want to be the next face for Joy Papaya Sun? And I commented yes, because I thought I have the face and the attitude to be the face of Papaya Sun. Joy Papaya Sun was not a beauty pageant, it was a glam hunt. So I would consider myself a model. We were given a training to gain the attributes of a model, not a beauty queen. I would want to become a beauty queen, but till now I think I have the best characteristics of a model. Sanjogda is a very young photographer and when you're young, you're creative. I love the way he works. I had fun. I look forward to working with him again and again. I have grown in a very beautiful way. I think um, I was a model before this, but I was not into the details of modeling. They taught me the things that I did not know. They gave me mind training, marketing skills of model, how you have to self-invest in modeling and everything. I think I'm a better model right now. I would pick all the friends that I made because I'm a very happy person and all the 24 candidates that we were there we were very friendly, we were like a family. We never had the feeling of competing with each other. So I think that is the best experience. I would say girls need to win this kind of title. The participation only can uh, make them stronger, make them bolder than they are. From day one that I decided to be a model, they've been very supportive. I think I have the best parents in the world. Uh, I just want to grow up to become a better model every day. I want to become a beauty queen as well. I'm going to participate in more of these kind of pageants. It is just a dawn of modeling in Nepal. I think it is growing. There are more and more agencies uh, evolving. I think it has a very bright future. Winning the title of Joy Papaya Sun Glam Hunt 2014 has made me the president of One Rupee Education. And One Rupee Education um, funds Neer Kamal Gyan Kunj, which is doing its best to educate the underprivileged children and un uneducated children in rural areas. So I, I feel proud to be one of the team. I've always 
always had this vision to educate children, underprivileged children, teach children in Nepal. I think in my future I would want to create a social team named Educate and Elevate and I want to serve society like that. Joy Papaya Sun is a brand of India, so they want to expand their um, product in Nepal as well. I think being the face of Papaya Sun will make me competitive to an international market. Next, I'm going for Miss Grand International. It's happening in Thailand on September 16th. Um, I want to represent my nation, Nepal, in that international arena and I want to make my country proud. I wouldn't say it is as fruitful like abroad, but we are, as I said, we are in the dawn of modeling. We need to tolerate a few things to make it a brighter industry. So I think it's improving, yes, it's improving. No, she certainly does not look new to the industry. I mean, look at her. She is confident and she knows how to carry herself. And let me add something more to her credit. At the moment, she is preparing to represent Nepal on Miss Grand International to be held in Thailand. So let's wish her all the very best for this journey. As always, the weekend vibes seem to roll through the masses at one of the most happening places around town. The ever so happening come in. This magic that weekends have is something really undeniable. We went for a quick check at Reef and let me tell you, it was jam-packed with Friday lovers. Never a dull moment at the Reef Fridays. And our Saturdays too were not left untouched for the Purple Haze Rock Bar gave a fitting tribute to some of the legendary rock bands around the world. Here's more right here on the MNS channel. A crowd favorite brief restaurant and lounge bar at Tamil was jam packed with Friday lovers yet again. We had our lenses out and angles covered as the restro burst into life. And not to forget the party starters, the reef shot, they're bound to get the people moving. As the night went on, everyone was dancing, swaying and singing out loud with a live band. And the party changed gear yet again when one of the owners got up on stage to share of happiness. And after all the moving and grooving, the good food on offer was always quick on hand. of your events can always be sent to our official page MNS channel at the rate kantipur.com.nt to keep us informed. Rock Bar always holds the loudest crowd in K-Town and not even the afternoon can keep the headbangers out. As evident from Hayes' tribute show to rock legends with the Rock of Ages on Saturday.
one for the fans, the show paid homage to the likes of Nirvana, Van Halen, Tool and Porcupine Tree. The local bands Niwaz, The Maze, Quinterval and Stairs of Girth gave a shot at replicating their favorite groups as the crowd were on their feet and most certainly off it. Mosh pits were a common sight as fans came together to let the music take control. And we have to give props for the standout of the show, the lights. The place went all out for one of the best arrangements on offer and that surely was the best decision. That was it for today folks. And oh yes. The result of the Wi-Fi contest will be out very soon. I'll see you next week. Until then, you stay happy and keep smiling big. Bye.